um, the other parts of the simulation and you're going to click on the tab that says two atoms so it's the same simulation nothing to close we're just going to click on two atoms now and i already did that and it says make atom a more electronegative um, than and atom b less electronegative using the sliders so atom a is going to be more electronegative and atom b is going to be less electronegative uh, click on bond dipole and partial charges and go ahead and draw them. And so uh, our picture here is going to show a circle, a bond, another circle with A and B. And we're gonna have the arrow going, pointing towards A. And we have partial positive and partial negative. That's what I want you to draw. And then it says, now turn on the electrical field. That's for number uh, the next part, number seven, and draw what you see. And the electrical field can be turned on here. And you can see that the these two plates, one's positive and one's negative, and the molecule actually reorients. So the partially negative part, A, is closer to the positive part, and the partial positive is closer to the negative. And that is a key observation for polar molecules. Polar molecules in an electric field will move to orient themselves with the electric field. So I'm going to show you what I drew for part A, and then you're going to draw for, or sorry, for number six. Then you're going to do for number seven. And then as to the reason that the molecule moved, well, uh, you could say a couple reasons. One is electrostatics is part of the reason. And the other is that uh, positive and partial negative charges are attracted to each other. And something we don't talk about too much in this class, but is true and something you'll talk the same, you'll talk about this in later classes, is that this configuration with the negative close to the positive and the positive close to the negative is the lowest energy configuration. And we'll talk more about energy uh, in future chemistry classes. So that's some hints as to why the molecule moved. I will allow you to do the rest of this. Uh, and if you have any questions, as always, uh, please ask.